Hello my name is Vasker. This is second part of 7 procedural texture tutorial. In this tutorial, we will make a roof texture and the awesome texture I used it on thumbnail. Let's go. Delete the cube. Add a plane. Scale it a bit. Open Shader Editor. Make a new material. And, change the material name. Now, add a magic texture. And a bump node. Bump node is used, to create bump in the mesh. Connect texture fac, to height. And connect, normal to normal. Increase the texture scale. Press Ctrl plus T, and click the magic texture, to add mapping node and, texture coordinate. Change this to object. Objects coordinate is an easy way, to mapping the texture. It's not essential, in this situation. Scale it if you want. Now we will add some color, in the roof, or rooftop. I always use red. Maybe it's my favorite color or something. It looks cool. Press F12 to render. Add a camera if you deleted yours. Set the camera, by pressing, Ctrl plus Alt plus 0. Now I will apply, the texture on a sphere. So you can, do the mapping, if it's needed. Go to the layout tab. Now add, a UV sphere. Scale it if you want. Hide the plane. Apply shade smooth. Now open, shader editor again. Use the material you created. As you can see, the texture is not properly placed. You can rotate the object, but sometime it may not work. We will rotate the texture, to match the object mesh. Change X to 45 degree. And Y to minus 45 degree. It still does not match the object mesh. So change X to 35 degree. Now I will try, to make some of the cool design, we can make here. This looks cool. I might use this somewhere, I think. I use this, on table texture in the thumbnail.
Now I will create the thumbnail image. Add a color ramp to have some more control with color. We can invert the color here. We inverted these blocks to red. Anyway, I hope someone would find a cure for this sick virus. No one wants to die suffocating. If you want to change the scale of texture in single axis, change it here. If anyone learned something from this tutorial, please let me know. So I will be able to sleep peacefully at night. Let's go we finished our second texture. Now I will just render the image. Video is already too long to add more content. So we will be making this texture in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Please check the next part of this tutorial.